Hey, do you want to learn how to tell compelling stories with your data? If so, bookmarks are your best ally. You can create bookmarks to build a PowerPoint-like presentation to tell a story with your visuals and reports. What's up, guys? Nestor Adriansen here again. Yes, today we're going to learn how to create bookmarks in Power BI Desktop. So, guys, let's do it. For today's tutorial, we have nine different points. We're going to learn about bookmarks. Also, we're going to learn about bookmark uses, how to create bookmarks in Power BI Desktop, bookmarks as a slideshow. This is a good one. Visibility using the selection pane, bookmarks for shapes and images. This is a good one as well. Bookmark groups using Spotlight with bookmarks. And finally, if you guys are like me, you learn by doing, I have a really nice case where we want to put everything into practice, my friends. So are you ready? Let's jump into the next slide. With bookmarks in Power BI Desktop, you can capture the currently configured view of a report page, including filtering and the state of visuals. Later, you can go back to that state by selecting the saved bookmark. Also, you can create a collection of bookmarks, arrange them in the order you want, and later step through each bookmark in a presentation to highlight a series of insights or the story you want to tell with your visuals and reports. If you want to learn more about bookmarks, here is the link. OK, so now let's go to the next slide. Bookmark uses. I have right here two uses. There might be more, but for this tutorial, I have two uh, main uses. You can use bookmarks to keep track of your own progress in creating reports, for example. Also, you can create bookmarks to build a PowerPoint-like presentation that steps through bookmarks in order, thereby telling a story with your report, right? OK, so please keep that in mind. Now let's go to the next slide. So how to create bookmarks? Uh, this is quite straightforward, so please don't get too worried about this because we have a case as well. Remember that. So how to create bookmarks? So the first thing that I want to do here is configure a report page as you want it to appear in the bookmark. That's the first step. So after your report page and visuals are arranged how you want them, select Add from the Bookmarks pane to add a bookmark. Okay. So we need to activate the bookmarks option here. So in order to do that, we need to go to the, the view tab in Power BI Desktop. And then you need to select right here bookmarks. So after you select that option, so this new window pops up. And right here, as you can see, here is the add option. So now let's go to the next slide. So bookmarks as a slideshow. When you have a collection of bookmarks you would like to present, of course, they have to be in order, right? You can select view from the bookmarks pane to begin slideshow. For example, if you guys can see right here, this is just a screenshot, right? And we have right here the bookmarks pane. And of course, we have already bookmarks here. And we have seven. And of course, the, the first one is overview. And the last one is south last five years, right? So now let's jump into the next slide. Visibility using the selection pane. So here you have the option to hide any object in your report. So, and of course you have to activate this option as well. You have to go to the view tab and then select right here, this option right here, it says selection. And then this new window pops up. And of course you can hide any visual any object in your report so for this screenshot i'm hiding this live option right here so now let's jump into the next slide bookmarks for shapes and images this is a good one as well so you can also link shapes and images to bookmarks this is great with this feature when you select an object it shows the bookmark associated with that object okay and of course, we have also a question about this type of 
tools in our case. Okay, so now let's jump into the next slide. Let's learn more about bookmark groups. A bookmark group is a collection of bookmarks that you specify, which can be shown and organized as a group. So quite straightforward this. Here we can organize different bookmarks in just one group. As you guys can see right here, there is a group, it's called Total Profit by Region, and we have three bookmarks as part of this group. So now let's learn about using Spotlight with bookmarks. This is a nice one as well. With Spotlight, you can draw attention to a specific chart, for example, when presenting your bookmarks in view mode, right? So if you guys can see this screenshot, this is the chart that we are trying to convey attention, right? So right here, this is the collective premium and total cost by product claim. And it says right here, Spotlight. So this bookmark is called Spotlight. Guys, this is a cool feature. So now let's jump into the next point. All right, so here's the case. I know you guys have been waiting for this part and let's do this. So the question here is create the following bookmarks in the bookmarks Power BI report. So we have a Power BI report and we have to create 10 bookmarks. Seems like it's a lot, but we're gonna do this quite quickly guys, so don't worry. And finally, we also need to create a bookmark group and this should be called total profit by region. Okay, are you guys ready? All right, let's jump into Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop, and this is our Power BI report. It's called Bookmarks in Power BI Desktop. Okay, let's create our first bookmark. The first thing that we want to do here is go to the View tab, and then we want to activate the Bookmarks option. It's right here. Boom, there it is. So remember, before we create a bookmark, we need to make any changes, the changes that we wanna have, right? So in that way, we can take a picture of that report. So how do we do this? So for the first bookmark, this is gonna be just the overview. We're gonna have the report as is. So what we wanna do now here is go to the bookmarks pane and then hit add. And automatically, here is our first bookmark. So by default, this is a generic name, right? So we're gonna change it. We're gonna call this overview. That's our first bookmark. So now let's create our second bookmark. So our second bookmark is called West Total. Remember that we have states in different regions, right? here in the United States. And because California and Arizona are in the west part of the United States, we're gonna call this West Total, okay? So if you wanna make multiple selections, remember, hold down control, Arizona and California. There you go. So now this is the changes that we wanna make. Let's hit add, boom, there it is. That's the second bookmark here. We just created our second bookmark. So our third bookmark is West last five years, okay? We wanna add right here just the last five years. So hold down control, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 2020. There you go. So we make the changes and now we need to add the bookmark. There you go. What else? Now it's time to create our fourth bookmark. So let's do that. So let's make the changes that we wanna make, right? Before we create the bookmark, let's clear these selections. And remember that the fourth bookmark is called Southeast Total, okay? So which states are in the Southeast of the United States? Hold down control. So we have Georgia here, South Carolina, and Tennessee. And remember, we need to clear right here year because we care about 
just Georgia, South Carolina, and Tennessee for the whole period, right? Okay, so there it is. Let's add this bookmark. There it is. So now our next bookmark is called Southeast last five years. So hold down control and now let's select 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And now let's add this bookmark and we're gonna call this Southeast last five years. There you go. So our next bookmark is called South Total. So that means that we have to select a state that is in the South, right? So let's clear these selections. And then here in the South is Texas. That's the only state in the South for this data, right? Okay, so here we have Texas. That's what we want. Let's add the bookmark. There you go. So the next bookmark is called South last five years. Hold down control. There you go. So now let's add the bookmark. Boom. There it is. So, guys, this is a time to create bookmarks as a slideshow. So, let's do this. We have seven bookmarks so far. If we want to create a slideshow, so we need to hit right here the view option. Boom. There it is. And of course, the first bookmark is called overview. Here it is, right? As you guys can see right here, it says bookmark one of seven. If we wanna go to the next slide, of course we need to hit next here. That's West Total, right? It's perfectly working here, okay? How about the next one? West last five years, perfect. How about Southeast Total? There it is. Southeast just for the last five years, there it is. So profit is smaller, of course. How about South Total? There it is, 15,000 in profit, right? And this is for the whole period from 2010 up to 2020. And how about just for the last five years? Let's hit right here next. There it is, $5,390 in profit. There you go. So that's how it works, guys. Now, if you wanna have more space for your presentation, you can close this right here as well. Boom. There's small space there now. So that's how it works, guys. And now let's close this view. So let's keep going because this is fun, right? All right. So now it's time to hide any object from this report. So how do we do that? Let's go to the view tab again. And then let's hit the bookmarks option here as well. And then let's hit the selection option here. Boom. There it is. If you guys can see here in the selection pane option, so we have different objects, right? We have an image, we have a shape, we have text box, card, state, and so on. So let's say that we wanna hide the year slicer here, this object. So what we wanna do here is just basically select this option right here, hide visual, boom, it's hidden. Now we might wanna delete this, selection here as well because we are just making the changes right now we can create our next bookmark there it is all right so let's close this real quick and remember we have selected right here the last bookmark let's go to overview because that's the initial view, right? So now let's add the spotlight option to a bookmark. So how do we do that? The first thing that we wanna do here is select any visual. And for this particular case, we're gonna select right here, the collective premium and total cost by product claim, okay? Then we need to select this option right here, the ellipsis, click right here, and then hit the spotlight option, boom. So these are all the changes that we wanna make. So after we do the changes, let's add the bookmark. There it is, and we're gonna call this Spotlight. There you go, boom, that's how it works, guys. 
let's play with this real quick overview spotlight so now this is the time to add a bookmark to an image so let's do that okay so let's go to overview here because this is the initial view right so as you guys can see here is my logo right let's select the logo here and our goal is to add a bookmark to this logo make sure that you select the logo first or the image that you want to add the bookmark to now let's select right here action type bookmark for bookmark we need to select right here the bookmark that we want to connect to our logo and for this case let's select overview so there it is so let's see if this works so if you want to test it hold down control and then click the image here well it didn't change because we were in the initial overview right so how about if we change to a different bookmark how about right here spotlight right and now hold down control and click right here the logo boom there it is we just connected a bookmark to this logo so finally our last question is to create a bookmark group so let's do that the first thing that we want to do here is identify the bookmarks that we want to group and for this particular case we want to select west total hold down control let's select another bookmark southeast total and also south total so we have right here three bookmarks and then click on this ellipsis and then select group by default it says right here group one but we need to rename it right so let's call this total profit by vision then hit enter boom we have west total southeast total and south total so now we can even create a slideshow view here if we want see let's select any bookmark within this group and then and with this one right here and then select view there you go we have right here three bookmarks and this is part of the bookmark group that we just created west total southeast total and south total that's how it works my friends all right so let's close this presentation there you go and let's select right here bookmarks again and then overview so now let's go back to our presentation all right guys that was it i hope you found this tutorial helpful if so please please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial